What's crackers, people? Anansi here, and welcome back to the Jade Empire. And the last one! We set off in a search to find our friend Dawnstar, uh, who has been apparently kidnapped by Gaudalus, or the thirsty mother lover. And, and uh, along the way, we had to go back in time slightly to get one of the final, final, um, go get all the techniques we could get from, uh, get from Smiling Mountain. It cost us our jewels that we got in the spirit cave, but don't worry, we'll get more of them. Um, we bumped into a farmer named Heen who asked us to find his wife, um, the flower of the fields, to, well, just make sure she wasn't slaughtered by the bandits. Along the way, we bumped into this odd fellow named Sagacious Zhu, who shares a name with the first emperor, Sagacious Tien. In this one, we're going to read a little bit. Jade Empire Bestiary Volume 1 Ogres These curious beasts are not always as dangerous as they look, uh, as their looks might imply. Those who confront one of these hulking monstrosities should treat them with caution, however, for despite the ogres' obvious skill at making weapons and armor, they are a little more than wild animals. And although ogres are typically resistant to earth and air magic, fire and ice do significantly damage do significant damage to them, and weapons are usually effective against their thick hides. So right there we find out that there apparently there are ogres in the world. And that they're weak to fire, ice, and have a decent weakness, decent vulnerability to weapons. Don't know why we'd find that in the middle of a freaking freaking marsh in some dead end town, but whatever. Now then, let's uh, hmm, head off this way. Your quarry has based himself in the north. There are paths right and left, but I doubt one is any safer than the other. Mm, okay, Zoo, we'll keep that. We'll keep that in mind. Shouldn't killing outlaws yield some good silver? All I found is this troublesome creature, and she won't do a thing I say. Her last keeper trained her too well. If we can't get any work out of her, I want her cut and carved for tomorrow. If I have to be out here on Gao's little errand, at least I can be well fed. Look out! It must be more bandits. Get them! All right then. So we found the flower of the field. Thank you for saving me. I was getting tired of catering to these fools. I thought I was saved when they killed the bandits that raided my husband's wagon, but these soldiers were no better. You have my gratitude. Hmm. <laughs> I want to get kind of rude. I don't care. Some merchant offered a reward for his flower of the field. I'm looking for Finn. You are safe now, Finn. Hings sent me. Finn. You have come this far for Fen. Did Hing send you here without even mentioning my name? Oh dear, this will be unpleasant for someone. I am Singhua. These animals made me cook for them, clean up their filth. And Hing sent you for the flower. I will kill him. You aren't the flower of the fields that Hing mentioned? No, but she is here. Oh yes, just over here. Let me present her to you. Fen, come. Fen, my flower, you are safe. I knew this great fighter would save you. I couldn't leave without you. The cart needs your strength to pull it. I am safe as well, Hing. Or did you forget I was missing? Oh, there you are, my dear. I'm glad you did not come to harm. But you are more concerned about the ox, I see. Uh, take your squabbling elsewhere. I have more important things to do. I don't care who was saved. I want a reward. Um, ha have, uh, have either of you seen a man named Gao? <laughs> Gao? One of the soldiers said someone with that name is at a camp to the far north. Of course, he may have been speaking of someone more important. Perhaps the camp goat. I prayed for your safe return, dear, but the cart will not move itself. You will be lucky if I don't make you pull it while the ox rides. She is clearly important enough. 
come. Leave any of our stolen silver as reward for our savior. I value my own life at least that much. Someone has to. Yes, dear. Do I have to slaughter that thing for you to show me some attention? No, dear. Are you lying again? No, dear. Are you listening to me? No, dear. Uh, that that side quest always brings a smile to my face. I won't. I will not lie. <laughs> um. So yeah, apparently, uh, Finn, uh, our far out the field was an ox. Though, given how big his wife is, I can hardly tell the difference. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was me. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was me. That was that was needlessly mean. But come on, you all were thinking it. Don't act like you weren't. <laughs> Yeah, there's a little crane here. So yeah, what, what, what? It looks like the soldiers have taken control from the bandits who normally rule here. I'm not sure it's an improvement. Uh, so what you want to do with this section is, um, look, more bandits creeping into the camp. Get them. Okay, that was on me. Uh, I didn't mean to cut him off, but you did see the uh, the extent of the uh, conversation. You want to pause. One thing about the, one thing about this game is that it is kind of hard to um. Okay. That it is kind of hard to um, not interrupt dialogue if you want to hear it. And a lot of it is just flavor text, you know. I'm going to try to do my best more often to not have that be a problem, but I make no guarantees. What? Wait, I don't want any more trouble. You don't have any options to choose, friend. <laughs> or fine, just tell you what I want to know. Uh, let's, let, let's be a little bit more intimidating. You don't have any options to choose, friend. Look, I'll tell you whatever you want. The money isn't good enough to die for, alright? Let's see. Um, where is Dawnstar? Who? The woman. She got loose from the sack and ran into the cave. Would have been safer out here with us. That cave is home to both toad demons and ogres, and both are in a foul temper from fighting over the space. Running in there is like moving from the claws to the fangs. We refused to go after her, so Gao went himself. Why did he kidnap Dawnstar? I don't know. He just said it was very important that he get her tonight. He brought a few groups of us over for it. We didn't take her. We made Gao do that himself. I know we shouldn't have let him talk us into any of this, but he doubled our pay. It was just one woman. Compared to some things, well, all I'll say is that this wasn't the worst thing done by a Gao lately. It's all Gao's fault. How convenient. I don't believe you. Look, that's all I can say. Just let me go. I won't be any more trouble for you. If I go back to Gao's father, I'll be killed as a failure. A reasonable punishment. Gao has some things right. By my grandfather, I won't get in your way again, I swear. Get out of here. I'll follow Gao into the cave. You are far too generous with your mercy. Thank you. You won't see me again. Okay, we're at the open palm. Now, before we go into the cave, first we want to take a look around. Has some bamboo caskets here. You never know what you might find. Found a flawed scholar gem, so that's good for uh, for those of you who uh, focus on well, focus. And this and this brings us to our next uh, to our next mechanic: traps and evasion. High focus increases your chance of evading traps. So basically, what what you want to do. Um, this entire thing is predicated on how much, um, what's the one for here? That, that entire mechanic is predicated on how much focus you have in your meter at the time. You... What is this? More bandits, but coming from the camp? Gao's let us... Okay, then let's take care of this. Um, so yeah, basically, you, it doesn't, it doesn't matter how high your focus is. Um, if you don't have your have any focus in your bar, because if you notice there, to evade the trap, I have to use some some of my focus up. So, so um, 
So it, so it helps to always try to keep at least a supply of focus on you at all times. So that way when you're venturing through the, um, when you're venturing through the, um, world and exploring and finding hidden ga caskets and whatnot, um, and we've come full circle. Okay, so that's pretty much it for right now. So we can now go back, go into the game. Uh, basically when you, when you get, when you, when you bump into like these, any assortment of things you can open up to get a treasure out of, you want to make sure you have a little bit of focus on you, so that way you can you have the potential to avoid any trap that might be sprung from it. You can avoid chip damage this way, and um, and it just makes your life genuine, generally easier. Um, because you don't want to be at a point to where you're down to your last bit of health, spring a trap, and then die. That would be embarrassing. Don't ask how I know that. Ogres driven out of the civilized world by people who fear their size and brutality often take residence in moist caves and tunnels. Interesting little tidbit there. And now we're in the caves. Catch you, woman. You will be sorry. It's always someone else's fault, isn't it, Gao? This is your mess. I didn't make you kidnap me. Your friend is doing a good job of frustrating Gao into carelessness. That will work in your favor, but it also means we have to follow them by a different route. Be careful. That means fresh enemies for us. These caves harbor strange creatures. Okay, so now, as you can see, we are dealing with ogres, one of which is dead uh, from the cutscene, but as you can see, there's another one here. I'm going to let you know up front, these are going to be some of the hardest enemies you're going to deal with right now. Oh, wait, never mind, he just deloaded. Either way, these are going to be some very difficult enemies, and you don't want to attract more than one at a time. Unfortunately, I have. Luckily, we have fire. And as you learn from uh, that beast scary, ogres are weak to fire. Um, six, no, I'm all out. Okay, luckily they dropped me a little bit of cheese, so I can work with that. Open this chest. Okay, dodge that trap. And got a little bit more silver. But yeah, no, I mean, I mean, when I first got into this cave and I first had to fight the ogres, I'm not gonna lie, it... Oh dear. I was, I was not prepared. Because I just was not ready for the fact that you really can't take them down the way you take down other enemies. You can, um, use your power hits to essentially knock them off balance and throw them on their backs. I was just not ready. So, yeah. Oh, Zoo, you got anything to, say, anything to say? If your friend is in danger, we should not waste time talking. Okay, we're good. I just wanted to know, because sometimes these RPGs, especially Western RPGs, tend to have this tendency of letting you talk to your character, talk to your party members, gain Bible insight at the worst of I times. I never had cause to enter these caves. Gao will have to pay for this inconvenience. Dang, Zoo, calm down. Okay, now we got a Toad Demon. Now, Toad Demons... They're just as dangerous as ogres, but they have they have, to, they have the ability to poison you. So you want to try to avoid getting hit by them at all possible. Because trust me, you don't want poison damage on your conscience. And we also learned a new style! Toad Demon. You can swap the styles on your detail by holding down the slot. You want to change and change you want to change and selecting the style you want from the menu. Okay. I read that completely terribly. You can swap the styles on your D-pad by holding down the slot you want to change and selecting the style you want from the menu. So basically, we now have the ability to transform into a toad. I won't start it off that just yet, but that is an ability that we do now possess. 
then we got uh, 82 silver from there. And now, how much silver does that bring us up to? It should be a decent amount, right? Oh, yeah, we're good. <laughs> we are good on silver for right now. But yeah, uh, and, and, and in case you're wondering, no, this is not the only transformation style that you will learn in the game. I think, I don't remember the exact number, but it's safe to say that it's, you learn a decent amount of styles. Um, I don't use a lot of transformation styles, I'm not going to lie to you, but we'll get into that when we get to it. I swear, Dawnstar, my patience is running thin. No! No! Not you! Anyone but you! What are you doing here? Chasing a fool. Did you think you'd get away with this? You took something very important from me. I follow you forever, wasting my time on another errand and all because of you. Uh, depending on how you want to respond to this, you can either be chastising or, or, or you know, continue to flirt in a very bravado way. So let's flirt in a very bravado way. You took something very important to me. I'd follow you forever. You see that, Gao? That's loyalty and responsibility. Can you even understand those words? <laughs> I understand more than you. I did you a favor, but you are too stupid to know a good thing when you're in its grasp. Being kidnapped was a good thing? You have an odd view of what it takes to impress a woman. Fools! You'd be dead if it wasn't for me. Everything you have... My father was into that. What are you talking about, gal? That empty threats from a beaten man. It has already begun. You'll see. Death comes from above to ferret out your hidden master in his real name. Dawnstar was the only thing I wanted to save, and what thanks do I get? Nothing. So be it. I'll just kill you all and forget your pitiful little village ever existed. I'm getting sick of your raving, gal. Like, what have you done, gal? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, what have you done, gal? You'll see. You've already lost no matter what happens here. You'll see. I'll make you see. You couldn't have beat me alone. So, so you can do this like one on one or have someone fight with you, but I'm gonna do this one on one. Let's settle this, gal. One on one. Good. There's no Master Lee to restrict how I fight. I'll kill you in time to see the red sky over your village. So now, yeah, so now we're doing this uh, solo. Ooh, snap! It's AoE attack. Now remember, um, you have more, you have multiple styles now, and you should be using them effectively to make this fight easier. He also has the same uh, same support style that you have to slow you down. So just keep that in mind. And there's a dragon move. That we know very, very well. And yet you can actually roll out of that attack. Um, out of the animation while it's still going on. It will still do damage. Okay. A little bit of healing up here. Um, and this fight is very different from how it was uh, when you first fought him in, in the grounds. Legendary strike. Uh, but yeah, it's, but yeah uh, it's important, it's important to keep in, keep in mind that uh, support styles and AoE attacks don't do any damage. They're mostly there just to give you some breathing. Make good use of your... Uh, uh, your uh, harmonic combos. And use your focus wisely. I'll admit, if they ever do remake this game, they're going to have to really nerf the focus ability because it is broken. Okay, no time for being fancy. for coming to my rescue. I'm not sure why Gao thought he would get away with this. He had to know that someone in the village would come for me, although I suspected it would be you. 
I would done the same for any of the students. Yes, I always get settled with Master Lee's cast off chores, or I wouldn't let anything happen to you, Dawnstar. I am grateful. Your friendship has always been a comfort to me. Maybe that was what made Gao so jealous. I don't know. And who is this? I must thank your new acquaintance for his help as well. Sagacious Zhu, you don't owe me anything. I just helped your young friend through the swamp. Sagacious Zhu, well, I am grateful. I don't know what Gao meant by saying he was doing me a favor. How could dragging me here be beneficial? I don't know, but I think we should head back to the, to the village. Empty threats so let him argue with the worms, or he was clearly delusional. Once again, I'm going to be intuitive here. I don't know, but I think we should head back to the village. Agreed. I want Master Lee to know that we are both safe. It's too bad, though. He wanted to reach Gao. I'm sure of it. Gao just seemed to get more and more bitter. He didn't respond well to discipline. It's too bad. Zoo, head for the entrance. Dawnstar and I will clear the rest of the cave. Uh, so you can, so you can do it to you. So you have the option to pretty much um, take a party member with you and have one wait outside, or just leave immediately. Don't do this because there's stuff in the cave you really do want to get. So I was gonna tell Zoo to head for the entrance. Dawnstar and I will clear the rest of the cave. I will wait by Gal's flyer. He can't object now. We got, we got a gem of gentle persuasion. So yeah, now this brings me to my next to, to the next uh, thing I want to bring up about uh about um about um Jade Empire. Unlike hmm, um what's say? Unlike some of Byrail's more popular titles, um Jade Empire only lets you have one party member, as opposed to games like Knights of Republic or Mass Effect Two. I could have sworn it let me target was let me target something else. Um, unlike not Mass Effect or Mass Effect Two, you you cannot have uh, more than one um, party member. Viper's wit. Look at that in a second here. So you so you're gonna have to choose which party members you want out at any given point in time. We got some just some silver and we have an explosion and some more and some more uh, silver. Now Viper's wit. It's a new technique we learned. There you go. Viper's wit. A sharp wit and mind are key to winning the hearts of people. Too many believe that looks and strength alone rule the day, and they neglect to realize that a mind will always triumph. One's wit and skill must strike like a snake, taking the opponent by surprise. This gives us plus two to the focus and plus one the charm. Now, look at our conversation skills. Um, charm? The charm scat does require mind, so you are getting effectively a boost in your charm skill. As you can see, we have 9 charm, 9 intuition, and 8 intimidation, because once again, I don't use it very much. Now let's check this gem of gentle persuasion. This adds plus 5 to your intimidation. Gentle persuasion, my backside. But it also gives you plus 1 to, plus one to body and plus 1 to spirit. So if you're more of a person using intimidation, this gem is a pretty good um, start off, starter for you. But yeah, getting back to it, um, you really only need to need that conversation piece to let you stay. Um, if you haven't uh, looked at every path in the cave, which I believe we have, I think we, we we go to our map. We have looked at every path in the cave, so now we can pretty much leave. Because um, I do not believe you can get up to where Gao and Dawnstar were. I think that was only for a scripted cutscene event. Because you looked at it, it was like just as empty void and stuff um so ultimately this ability this uh, this this uh this speech option to stay is just to get viper's wit and restock on stuff if you need it um and to let and also to introduce you to the idea that you're only going to have one party member so yeah at any rate uh we'll we'll exit the cave next time i've been honest even also and i'll catch you later